a movie that was a brilliant visual a visionary. I look, I can't even get my words right. But anyway, y'all, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought this movie was was pretty cool. I love the visionary in this movie, and I love the way it was going, and I love the truth behind it. And we about to talk about that right now. <laughs> The Dark Stranger, written and directed by Chris Trebilcock. I thought this movie was awesome in, in, a, in a lot of different ways because I know I usually see horror movies all the damn time, but not one quite like this one. But the movie starts off with this girl, Leia. She's in the, she's in the bathroom, you know, trying to get herself together. You can clearly tell that she has a little issues, whatever. And she's, she's supposed to be taking a shower. But she's not taking the shower and her brother is screaming on the other side of the door. Like, come on, let me in. I know you're not taking the shower. And at first they wonder, like, I wonder why she's not taking the shower too. Like, damn, how long did she that you know that she's been doing this? Because obviously, you know, her brother knew that she don't really be taking the shower. But she act like she's like washing her hair, so she leaves out. And next thing you know, you know, you see her go through these like visions of her mom, because you know, her mother used to be a an artist, you know, she used to be a painter, but a mother went mad, though, and she didn't go mad for no reason because it turns out that there's a dark entity that was haunting her mother, and it's, he, I mean, it's been haunting her mother for years. So the same thing that was happening to her mom was happening to the daughter as well. You know, she was going, she was have a therapist come over the house and they would talk at times, and then this is where things got really weird. This is what the movie started reminding me of goosebumps but i'm not talking about like the recent like now goosebumps i'm talking about the, like the 1990 that bloop, 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 that type of goosebumps and tales from the crypt it just had that it just had, they both just had that vibe but like when she draw certain storylines and, and it was just so weird because like this pen got all weird on her hand and it, it got stuck to her hand and she could not get it off and it would try to make her draw things which is that it is a demon that's trying to get her to draw trying to use her abilities, you know, use her, how would you say that? Use her gifts. Yeah. But at the same time, make her feel shut in. Because, like, when she tried to go out the door, that part was freaky. Like, when, when her father told her to answer the door, and you saw this, like, this really weird demonic skull, like, rub its face on the door. And then when she tried, like, the handle was like a skull, and you saw it try to grip at her hands when she tried to go for the door. But then, like, when she finally gets outside, people's faces is transforming. They're looking demonic. I mean, this girl was really going through it. And then, you know, of course, a couple of times she tried to commit suicide as well because this demon was really backing her up against the wall. I thought the movie was pretty good. I thought it was a pretty good visionary. And I really like it. Something new. And let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. What? Well, Katie Finley did a really good job. I really loved her on, you know, on scene performance because. You know, you see a person, you see an artist that's really passionate, and she was just like her mom. You know, she was passionate, and I love how Katie Finley brought that character to life, and I like how she interacted, and how at first she was sort of distant from everyone because she was having depression problems, but then she was she also fought her way up out of it, and I thought that was awesome. You know, because a lot of people today, you know, suffer with depression. And things like that. And then once the movie got towards the end, the movie just summed everything up. It made more sense. You know, the the dark stranger that were coming after her. It, it just had a bit of everything. You know, like from Goosebumps to, uh, what you call it, uh, Tales from the Crypt. Mm -hmm. And also Creepshow. Yep. Remember that? I remember with the, that. With the comics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just it just brought me back to the 90s. And I, I thought this movie was awesome. And it had some, some pretty good... Some pretty good creepy moments in there, but not creepy enough to scare the crap out of you, but just creepy enough, like the time when she was running up the steps, and remember, like, you just saw something black fly real fast, like, poof, and I was like, you know what, I would have been the fuck out the door and down the street. I, even if I was scared to go outside, I think I would have left after seeing that. Right, that would be enough to make me run out my house, not run and stay in my <laughs> house, or ride and hide under the bed. Right. <laughs> But like I said, guys, check this movie out. The Dark Stranger is awesome. I really enjoyed it. Check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about The Dark Stranger because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was a pretty decent film. And it remind you of the 90s, you know, if you're from that Goosebumps, you know, Tales from the Crypt, Crypt Creep Show genre. <laughs> it's all my movie lovers. 
I love you.